So hello, everybody. So this meeting is about non-duality, non-duality, not, oh, yes. I think I have to, what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's just a remembering of that is this is the last Friday for a, a, a while because we are going to San Francisco in the United States and Vietnam. So we will be away for three weeks and there will be no meetings, I think, for four weeks because then there's the jet lag thing. And so, so it's on my website when the Zoom meetings are starting again. Tomorrow, there's still a Zoom meeting tomorrow morning. We are leaving uh, Sunday, so after that, there will be a long time. No Zoom meetings. There will be live meetings in uh, San Francisco, oh, no, not San Francisco, in Sacramento, Folsom, and in Vietnam, of course, there's the residential. So maybe I see some people there, we'll see. And, okay, it's, this is about life. Life is, there's nothing else than unconditional love, and that's life. So it's very easy and very simple and ordinary. But the strange thing is that when there's that brain can, that can abstract and, and there's a contracted energy, suddenly it seems like, oh, I'm here, there's some, somebody over there. So there seems to be distance and in a while when the people when children are very young they learn that there's also time so the whole world the whole seemingly world of i am here and i'm living in time and i have to deal with what's going on because everything is happening to me and there are circumstances and i have to deal with that there's consequences i don't behave well, so I get punished and the whole story about right and wrong is coming. So there feels a bit like there's separation or a bit or more, like there's separation and suddenly underneath, and that can be for some people, there's nothing going on. And some people have a sense like there's something missing, there's something looking for something else. It can, it, this can't be it. it, it has to be something else. So there's, there can be starting a search of something going on in the spiritual world or trying to heal things and make it right. And when there's suddenly, there's trying everything, and there can be meeting, or maybe with YouTube, there can be meeting those people who talk about non-duality. And this is a very radical non-duality. There's nothing happening. There's only an appearance of energy, you could say. And it's walling, it's sitting, it's doing, but there's no one. There's no one inside. So there's no free will and choice. There never was. So the, the funny thing is, it's, it's never has been differently. So there's always, always. The, the only thing there is, is that there's no one. There's an appearance of bodies and streets and hands and tables and all that. And it's a chaos. It's just random. There's no line in it, no logic, no story. What with the brain that can be making, filling up the gaps and there seems like a story and this is my life and how to deal with that and a lot of information is coming. And then this hearing this, no, it's not even a message, this describing of very, very literally what is happening. There's, it's not happening to someone, it's what is happening. It's not even in the body, the body isn't real. It's also an appearance of, and it's, the body seems to be always there, like the whole body, and I'm in it or something. Or maybe somebody feels like I'm not in it, but the body is real. It's strange to hear that the body isn't even real. There can be seeing hand, and that's everything. We talk about it's about everything. Then hand, it's everything. This room is everything. There's no outside. There's no outside. There's also no inside. That's we're talking about there's no distance. When there's no distance, there's no inside and outside. 
it's crazy because that's so the normal way of seeing I'm here and over there there's something else and we have learned a lot of things that happen inside and what's going on in the world outside it's only information there can be information about anything or maybe knowing it's what it is information thoughts maybe knowing everything is neutral does it doesn't have any meaning or importance there can be information about a war somewhere that's what is apparently there that information and there's pain somewhere and that's what's happening so it's very simple and ordinary and without reason without without time so when there's no time that's also a lot of people understand there's no time there's no yesterday of course and but ta no time that also means no consequences because there's no before and no after it's only this that's new but when it's new and you where is that life of me it's new is that face it's a hand it's that that's everything. So where is that individual going? It, there, there is no individual. So there's no life of Rose or something else, somebody else. It's what is happening. So we, some people have also ideas when there's no me anymore, maybe I have an idea how that would be. And, and maybe it's frightening because uh, Maybe when there's no control anymore, what will happen and that. There can be a lot of imagination and ideas about what will go on. You don't know. That's what me, that whole construct to survive does, is trying to imagine and trying to I have ideas about what's the meaning of what's going on and trying to change it. And the strange thing is when that whole construct is not arising or not coming back. It's very obvious that it had never any power because that what's, or that what's already is happening doesn't need any looking at it or control or all that. It was already not there. This is happening by itself in a random way. Doesn't see you or me. It's what is apparently happening. And, and on top of that, when there's that being busy with everything and everything is solid and real and it's looking for something and it's never satisfying completely and missing something or it's a, a part of that what is happening. And then suddenly there's, there can be the idea of on, oh, hearing yeah, it's about the wall or sitting or the table. And suddenly there's nothing going on about looking at it. But it's only table. Oh, and then suddenly it's like, oh, there's something, something else also. It's not only the table, but it's, oh, it's the tabling. And it's just, that's life. It's vibrant and alive as it is. So that's when there's the whole thing collapses. It's just suddenly like, oh, it's already that what I was looking for. It's it was already the only thing there is. There's no need to look for anything. That drive can be there, but that drive, that feeling, like grrr, that feeling is it. That's so strange because we think, yeah, yeah, that feeling, yeah, I have that, and and then and then. Well, what when there's that suddenly that can be suddenly that feeling or that grrr, like. And there's no one looking at it. It's just there, nothing else. Then suddenly it's like, oh, that's what she means. It's <sighs> alive. It's like little children. They have not the cap the the ability or the cap capacity. I don't know how to say that. It to to abstract. So there's just. What is going on is full on. You can be tired and anything. It's not about us. Life is not about us. That's strange because that's really what we all 
<clears throat> busy with all day or large part of the day, how we are feeling, what, how we're doing, what's going on. Life doesn't see someone. It's a table, the floor, a body. It's neutral. It doesn't go anywhere. It is. So it's very simple, this. It's, it's not bringing anything. It's not giving anything. It's not going anywhere. It's what is. And that's already, so nowhere to go. Also, no hope, of course. And that's for some people, it's annoying because there's a can be a large, big idea about this life of me. It's like annoying and I don't like it and all that. And then she says, there's no hope. Yeah, hello. I don't want that. And that, but no hope, then that means that that what is happening is already complete. It's everything. That's unconditional love. Unconditional love is everything. So it's not only the nice things, what we subtly maybe want, some more relaxation or uh, being feeling free or all that. It's everything. So there can be all kinds of feelings or pain or cold or anything. The floor, it's not about us, not about you, not about me. There is no me, there is no you. There is no us. There is only what is apparently happening. That's the freedom. It's already everything. It doesn't matter what it is. It, it doesn't have certain circumstances are better than something else. That's only in the story. It's what is happening. It's not saying that to yourself because that's the new way. So I hear some people saying, yeah, it's what it is. And it's what is happening, saying that to yourself. That's a new construct to trying to deal with what's going on. Most of the time, what, with what is not so nice. When there's no one, there's nothing going on about what's happening. It's just what's happening. There's no escape, but there's no need for, because there's nothing wrong with anything. It can be painful or really uh, strong feeling or what kind of, maybe you don't even know what the feeling is, but can be very happy. Yeah, it can happen. Yeah. It's not even in the body. Feelings are so much felt, like it's in my body and it's mine and... <coughs> What, where it's coming from or what is it about, it doesn't matter. It's a feeling somewhere, you could say in space or somewhere. It's not even yours. There can be that sensation, that feeling, like a smell, like a sound. It's the same. So we can talk about everything. Maybe there are some questions in the story. Maybe there are some issues that you're busy with, it's not about only about questions about non-duality and how is that. It can also be issues about what there's going on and we'll see what happens when there are questions about that. So you can type if you want to or maybe unmute yourself and say something or nothing. <coughs> Oh, a heart. <laughs> Thank you.
There's somebody saying this free flow of words and energy is so beautiful. Yeah, it's, it has nothing to do with Rose. That's strange to say, but it's really, it's just when there's that meeting and suddenly that, that words are coming and it's just saying, just that expressed in that way. And suddenly it stops. <laughs> yeah, it's done. And it's already everything. So it doesn't matter if it's what kind of way. When there's trying to say something and maybe you don't know how to say it or you don't have the English words or whatever, it really doesn't matter. It's the way the expressing is happening and the sharing that is what's happening. There's, there, there can't be something wrong. It, it, there's no need to do it in a, in a better or other way. It's exactly that what's going on already. Somebody say, I'm in a funny mood. Hello, is it me you're looking for? No, <laughs> I'm not looking for me. <laughs> no, there is already no me. And that's so strange. It can be so embodied that uh, there's a feeling it's in some place of the body. And I thought always it's in the chest. And the tension there, that was me. And when it was there, it was a lot of me and all that. There can be so many ideas about what me is and how you feel and what your essence is and all that. And hearing there's no one, that doesn't mean there's rose is no one. <laughs> it's, it's worse than that. There is no rose. That life of rose, there is no life of rose. No, it's all, it's, it's an idea. It's just random hand it's the table it's the floor it's that there is no life of rose or somebody else so there's nobody existing in in that way in an individual way that's the freedom it's just that what it is wall a feeling sound without any meaning that's stunning just that how it is has no meaning, no importance. There's nowhere to go because it's already that what is happening. So there's no need to do something or change or anything because that what's happening is it already. But we have so many ideas about how it could be and this can't be that and all that. They seem so true. It's so embodied. It's an embodied belief. So you can't say, I don't do that anymore. It can be so convincing and strong. There's nothing wrong with an embodied belief. Then that's what's going on. So what? Then that's life too. But there can be a feeling of frustration or something else. Thanks, Rose. Hmm. Oh, hey. Lovely, yes. <laughs> so it's also making the house cozy. That's also. Yeah. Yeah. It's everything. It, it doesn't matter what it is. That's. <laughs> we are so into circumstances are real. It's, it's every, it's all energy. So it's that swiping or maybe drinking coffee, not <laughs> yeah, swiping. <laughs> yeah, going to the yeah, Ikea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, that's how it goes. It's really and there's crazy no clue. today. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. no clue at all of no. why and how. It's just, why? And then, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter, uh -huh. really. Mm -hmm. And it all, that doesn't mean it's that you feel like free or wrong. No, that can be also different. It can be, uh, or I don't know. 
<laughs> yeah, of course, it's everything. So that's what normally people forget that it's not about feeling free or feeling now uh, more relaxed and all that. Yeah, that's nice. Well, it's for a while and then it changes. And it's not about you. It's not about you or me. That's we're so busy with that looking at ourselves and what's going on and all that. Wow. And then suddenly there's there's no one. So that whole being busy is not arising or it's not going. And it's not even noticed because it's so normal. It's just going or walking or shopping or whatever. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. the light. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And in, in a way, it's, yeah, um, it's so, in a way, crazy and funny and... Um, hmm. You know, then, then I, I, I was uh, uh, on a kind of a farmhouse and then I, I was in Groningen and then it's so fun. Yeah. 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 It's everything, so it doesn't matter what it is, it's everything. Yeah. But as it is. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hmm.
Hey, Rose. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I wanted to make uh, you and everybody laugh and say that I was um, exercising early this morning and I thought I was doing one move and I uh, kind of spaced out and I looked down and I realized that my legs are doing a totally different thing than the upper part of my body. <laughs> and, and the thing is, is that the brain uh, mm -hmm. went into like, okay, stop mode, but it didn't stop until like until a few seconds later. And I looked down and I said, oh, my God. I was like, if we're not coordinated, right, what's going to happen? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. I'm like, well, I'm like doing the move and I'm like, wait, what's going on? Why is it yeah. moving on its own? Yeah, 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 yeah. No oh control. <laughs> yes, completely. I'm like, wow, it's so fast. And I'm like, no, I was like, this is very strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Very interesting. I remember somebody saying once that they um they had like one of those glimpses and when they were walking down the street, they only realized that that the body was walking when they saw a reflection of it in the um glass window. Yeah. 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 So there's no going somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <You> didn't go. <laughs> uh, oh my god, that's what you think you do all day. <clears throat> and then suddenly it's like, oh. Yeah, there's no, in that way, you could say there's no movement and that's not going to somewhere. There's no distance. It's like, oh, you can't even, it's suddenly, suddenly obvious. You can't even say how that is. But, yeah. 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 I find that for people in the, in general, when, when they hear free, no free will or choice, for some reason, bank, robbing banks is such a big topic. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know why you would want to rob a bank. <laughs> but... No, but that's the that's the fear that when there's no control, then then there can be maybe I'm gonna rob a bank, or somebody said, oh maybe I'm peeing just in the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so idea. We're so we're so obsessed that we are in control and that we are the deciders of everything what's going on. When there's talking. There's not someone already thinking like, oh, this is what I'm going to say. And then there's that going to say. It's just what's happening. It's just going like that. So obvious. How can you believe that I'm deciding to say this or to move those hands? It's just going like that already. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Wow. I, I can't remember what it's like to feel or to think that I do something. Yeah. It's weird because I, I guess I couldn't maybe imagine that that's not it before, but now it's like hard for me to, like, it's mm -hmm. funny to hear that I, I, I have this choice now. It's a, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting how that yeah. works. Yeah. How do you do a choice? <laughs> I can't even think about it. It's so <laughs> funny. And then it's so the normal way. And it's like, well, how do you choose then? I really, I think y you have some ideas in the mind and then. How do you do it? <laughs> so it's, but normally when that's going on, it's so easy and it's very obvious and I'm like, yeah, and it's that. Wow, it's, it's completely, it seems like two different worlds. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. it's just the same. It's the same. It's just already like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. very, it's much more easy in that way because there's a lot of trouble about making the right choice or doing the right thing and all that. Yeah, it feels much more uh, free than to be, to, to yeah. have to think to make a decision or anything like that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much going on about control. We we have so many ideas about when I'm not controlling everything, then everything goes wrong. That's such a strong belief. And that can be like education. It's about children. It's about everything. It's like I'm so important that what I think is what's the best way. It should be done like that and all that. And it's like, oh, my God, there's something else going on like random and that it's that freedom it's looking for freedom but 
in the same time, it's a fear of losing control. But there's already no control. Oh my God, there's already no control saying that. That for, for a lot of people, that feeling that I'm doing that and that's my decision and all that. And it's, it's, it's a misunderstanding. It's just an illusion that all those ideas are powerful and have have power to to make it happen in the world it's life is what is happening there's no one inside or anyone doing anything deciding or all that wow it's no free will mm. It's also no free will does mean a lot of things are going about what do you want? What do you want? Do you want what is your talent and all that, all that? <laughs> Life isn't interested. That's so crazy. We are so into like what is so important that I have the idea what's what can I do and all that. It's life. It's what's happening for no one without reason, without meaning. Oh, there's a long chat. <clears throat> Dear Rose, I want to share this. 40 years ago, I was suddenly in an experience of opening that show that everything is as it is and that no one can give anyone this and that this has always been and always will be like that. Everything is already complete and perfect and no need for change at all. Not even war is wrong and all is coming out of emptiness or love. Everything is as it is. Then suddenly enormous anxiety and a feeling that the old way of me was coming in. It seems as if everything changed and my life understanding is before and after. Wait, wait. It seems as if everything changed and my life understanding is before and after can you say something about it there can be that that suddenly that opening like there's it's as it is and that whole looking at it that me or that construct is just not there <clears throat> and suddenly it's so obvious and it's very simple and ordinary and in the same time whoa because that's stunning also and you can't even say how it is because it's how can you describe what is going on and it's that simple and ordinary and when that suddenly that that anxiety can come in or any feeling or maybe ideas that that's energetic so that can happen that when that yeah that it's so embodied those beliefs and and things anxiety can come in and that's only anxiety and then it comes and goes but when that me suddenly comes back it just hooks on that and is trying to oh what's going on here and trying to deal with that and the whole story because that's so embodied it's it's energetic so that can can go on for a while because that's that whole construct is so yeah that's also in the story but it's so embodied so that's how it goes it doesn't mean me in a way you could say me is back in that sense that that whole construct and trying to live your life is is back in the same time there's only what's happening but that being busy with it and trying to deal with it, it so, can be so strong and convincing and so normal, then it's coming back and it goes on till it stops. It isn't gone wrong, but that whole construct, that whole me and that whole being busy with what's going on and all that, can be so embodied and so strong and so normal. It's not even noticed that it's back. And then suddenly it's like, oh my God, it's different as it was before. And what's going on and how is it going? That's, it feels like I'm, I'm separate again. That, oh, that can, can be very frustrating and looking for that feeling that maybe that was before. It will never be like that same feeling because 
an awakening is like that and maybe another one can be there but it most of the time it's completely different it's already it's already everything well that that me is is thinking like no it isn't it isn't everything it this is this can't be it it feels so yeah it is <laughs> yeah There's another one. Yeah, it's so artificial. Questions like, what do you want? I never had a clue about that. Yeah, that's, but a lot of things are about what do I want and I want it differently and this is important and what I want is really important. And maybe it's not saying I want, but in a different way, what I need. It's the same thing, of course. When me is important, there are all kind of way trying to feel good about yourself. And every and there's a lot of behaving and that's how that construct is going. It's trying to survive and trying to deal, a lot of behaving around how to deal with everything in a certain way. So you feel good about yourself. Yeah, it's very strong. Can be so. It's so strong. It's energetic. So it's not. There's nothing wrong or right about that. It's what is happening. There can be some kind of behavior. Yeah. So what? And that's what's going on. It's an appearance of that. Behavior, yeah. And it's already gone. Then something else is going on. Nothing matters. It's crazy to say that in a world that everything seems like this is right and this should be done and that's not right and all that. And then somebody saying, no, it doesn't matter what's happening, really. It's not, nothing is important. Nothing is more important than anything else. It's exactly what it is. Doesn't mean it's nice or free in feeling free. It's not about feeling free. It's what it is. Exactly that, that feeling, that table, pain, anything. Not for anyone. It's that pain, full on. Sun, cold, floor, whatever. Yeah. I bought a small lamp and I don't know where it is. Okay. Mm. So could you say um, non-existence, that's that's full on aliveness. Yeah, there's nothing really existing. It's an appearance. Mm -hmm. It's just energy. Yeah, it's energy and it seems like wall and how we see it and feelings and thoughts. It's amazing. How is it in, wow, how is it possible that there are <laughs> thoughts, there are feelings, there are speaking? It's and it seems like a story, it's very convincing. And then hearing, no, it's just random, all that energy going. It's just that going nowhere, it is. And changing, different. crazy Rose it's really crazy this is so crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it, you can't even maybe there's some people about clear about this but not even it doesn't even matter if it's clear or not or no. understood or not it doesn't matter there can be a resonance somewhere and then that's that's it so what it's a it's a cup of tea so where to go 
Mm. But then there are the brain or that all those thoughts and this is oh and I'm feeling not so good and what could I do and all that and it can be so hooking and <clears throat> thinking like it's really important and yeah it can be. Hi, Rose. Hello. Hi. Um, yeah, it was so um, relating to the things you were saying in your initial talk, and um, and kind of like someone else shared. I about sixteen years ago, I had a, a experience after going on a silent retreat with uh, Adi Ashanti. I don't know if you know who he is, but. Um, and I came home from the retreat and I um, can only describe like that, that I just suddenly my whole mental life inside was a fiction, you know, I, and I realized what, what they were talking about when they said, you're never born, you never die. It's just like, yeah, of course, that, you know, that was yeah. just an incredible story. And um, yeah. Um, and so I lived, I lived like that for a few days and just walked around my usual streets and looked at the same things and was like, it's a different world. And I remember laughing to myself thinking, oh, no one would want this. You know, they, they think that they want awakening. There's going to be this really amazing <laughs> yeah. experience, but everything was just sort of empty, but not in a sad, empty way. It was just like, oh gosh, we're just inventing everything all the time. And yeah. And then I started listening to a piece of music. It was by Nina Simone or something. No, it wasn't. I don't know what it was. But um, and I realized like even the invention of these lyrics was creating this. It just seemed so funny. Like it was creating all this longing, you know, how it would create all this longing, a love story. And then, but without that, it was just music and some words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I remember like as I tried to explain it to you, I had a boyfriend at the time that I had. Mm. Mm. Then I started to lose, actually. Maybe it was just coincidental, mm. but was, mm. yeah, after the few days, I just, it just, I went back really to my oh, yeah. self. And, mm. uh, and I wasn't too, I was pretty, um, I, I wasn't trying to hold on to it, but, you know, I do, I do think of that. And like I've had glimpses also listening to you uh, just a few weeks ago. Mm. when I was listening to you and I suddenly like oh my gosh there's really nothing oh, there yeah. and mm. then the mind came in and said but I can't think straight I mean when there's like nothing there was like nothing to grab onto yeah, yeah and then yeah. it came in and said well how would I work or make a living you know yeah 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 <laughs> it was that oh yeah oh yeah yeah that those questions come in then yeah mm. yeah yeah and it's so funny because it's it's already going like that but we think we have to work and we have to do this and that it's just 
going in the in the store the story still goes on they're still going to the shop and buying food or things like that it's just going what we think we have some we have to earn money and we have to earn that it's so in a logic way and it's completely not logic can be sometimes but not most of the time it's just what's happening yeah But isn't there a lot more sort of staring into space? I found like, <laughs> like you can't yeah. really do that at work, just kind of. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, you can. I was... Yeah, but it can be like just doing, just sitting like that. Yeah, why not? Mm. So there can be that falling away of importance of certain doing what was there or ambition or results and all that can be not that strong anymore mm. yeah life is life is the, the life is the boss i can say that something like that and we think we are the boss and that's the that's the the the, the struggle that we want to we have and then it's not like that and we have to do nothing and, and I just, it's so clear that all that struggle can be there, but it's it's meaningless. It's just not having any power, but it can be very strong and convincing. And I should do this, and I didn't do the right thing, and all that. There's no one already, and also although those there can be that 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 awakening that shall and then suddenly that feeling of me comes back but it's it's only that energetic construct what's back it's not really me because that's what we think like oh there's certain, still that construct and how can i deal with that it's it's what it is so there can be tension or there can be a story then there's a story for a while can be and then it's gone and there can be tension then that's what's happening it's it's very um, singular, and when there's the whole story, it seems like yeah. And uh, today, the whole day, I was this, and I was busy, and, uh, and then it's making a whole long story of it. But it's much more simple in in bits. Nah, bits is a bit strange, but the sitting or walking or thoughts. It's just that much more simple and ordinary that without like relation it's just random like oh that's that there's no time involved or a story and suddenly there can be the, being busy in the story and all the busy and then and then for after a while there's just walking and nothing is going on it changes <laughs> How come that somebody loses the me and others don't? There is already no me. That's so crazy because that's so, it's so strong that there's that me and I, uh, I definitely want to lose that and how can I do that? Oh, you know, I can't do that. And listening in, in to meetings and trying to, oh yeah, whatever. There is, there never was a me. Uh, talking about me in the story is only that whole, you could say that construct, but it's only in the talking in the story because there is no construct, of course. But there's a construct that seems like it's very strong trying to convince that, and it can be so in the body also, that it's trying to make things happen and trying to deal with things and having a free will or choice. It's energetic. There is already no one. So there's no, not someone who's losing the me and someone who has the me. Like there's a difference. And and uh, um, I want to be like Rose. Somebody. <laughs> you don't want to be like Rose. <laughs> it, it's just, it's an idea about how it would be. It's, there, there 
it's there is no rose you can't be like rose there is only that what is happening and then that's what's going on and i can be energetic that idea that i'm here and all that and it can be the frustration and all that yeah then then that's what's happening for la life is everything so there's no difference between like being busy with yourself and all that or people who and or like yeah like me it's not it's not even that but th there's not being busy with it there's no difference but when there's me going on it feels like it will always feel like this is not enough i want to be different i want to have what she has or want to lose what she lost or it's all that's that's me it's never enough it has always something that I want to have change or it's it can't be this or it has to be something oh no. that's me that idea that there's something not right yet it's everything so it can't be wrong it's everything also feelings of and anything when there's when there's that construct like looking at yourself and being busy with what's going on <clears throat> and that drive not feeling pain and wanting to feel better or more comfort or freedom or all that then there's it's an escape mechanism it's trying to feel better in a subtle way it's not even in the brain but it can be so subtle in being busy with because that it can't be this and it, there's still that me going on what, how can i lose that me you know uh, all they're busy when when that when when they're talking about there's no uh, the me is lost or something like that it's not that the me is lost but that whole construct is not working anymore so when that construct is not working trying to escape and do something else with it or wanting something more or anything when that's not coming back and not working anymore then there's no escape so then when there's a feeling it's full on that feeling and when there, there it's nothing going on about free will or choice it's just not coming up so it's it's exactly life as it is there's no escape so everything is full on that that mean that doesn't mean it's full alive and all it no it's also pain and and stress and everything it's just normal illness anything <clears throat> everything is empty and that's very that makes that's everything when everything is empty in a way it's light but it doesn't mean it's always like oh hello hallelujah no it's <laughs> it's when there's that feel there can be that feeling of stress or disease or anything or pain or sadness or just nothing going on and walking just very simple not not, not nothing special at all it's very normal what is lost is that wanting to feel differently wanting something else or trying to change that's lost for the rest everything goes on So Rose, how do you deal with angry people? <laughs> I don't deal with anyone. It's just what is arising. I don't know. There can be, there can be somebody coming up to me and being very angry. I don't know what's happening. We will see. There can be anything. There can be characteristics. There can be patterns. I don't know. I don't care. There may be shouting back and maybe walking away and <laughs> i don't know so what there's no no good way or best way it's just energetic what's going on 
has nothing to do with rows. It's energy is going and then suddenly can be or something else. Yeah. It's already like that. Look around. It's it's like that. But we think this is better than that. That's lost. It's what it is. And then what when what what also is when there's that idea that I'm here and all that that embodied idea it's just lost it's not there then there's no importance to about rose rose is not important it's just lost no it's not about rose so life is not about what i want or feel or all that no it's empty there can be feelings of course just normal but it's not trying to want to be seen or all that all those structures trying to feel good about yourself that's lost too yeah This is not special, not at all. Uh, so there's just life, no matter if there's a me or not. Yeah, me is only a construct in the story that we call me, just to clarify what can be going on. But in the end, there, there never was me. That's an idea. That's a construct. We can look at ourselves and describing what's going on. So in the story, they can be talking about me because that's a construct that's so busy with I am here and uh, everything is happening to me. So I'm in, and then then I'm important. Of course, that's part of that whole construct. And then there's some there's a feeling of um, um, how do you say that uh, not being one uh, separation. So there's trying, there's a, a feeling of something missing. There's something gone wrong. So they're trying to make it right for yourself <laughs> in the end. Well, that's what's happening. So there's, it doesn't matter whether it's fear or anger. No, it's a feeling. There can be fear, there can be anger. It can be the table. It's not about, it's not always about the individual. I am here and I'm feeling, how do I feel? And can I feel anger? Because that's maybe the me again or all that constructs. We're so busy with ourselves trying to do the right thing and trying to feel like maybe there's someday there will be no me anymore. 
it's it's so busy with this whole thing there is no one that only is no one inside there that there is that face and that's everything or maybe that room or the floor so there's no one existing so it's not even about it doesn't matter can be thoughts then that thoughts is that energy can happen but we are that's that's people that can understand what what thoughts mean and having meaning and importance and all that can abstract everything so then it becomes complicated and trying to all those thoughts about what's going on and describing what's going on and then suddenly there's a whole world extra from just what is it's, it's making it into something else and can be very complicated and no what i'm saying is right no i'm saying what's right and ah, yeah. endless going it's a construct but that's so convincing look in the room and it's just this there's no outside Wow, that's amazing because we think there's the whole world going on and we have to deal with everything. We can abstract, we can believe that there's somewhere outside over there. There can be time, so maybe tomorrow I will be doing that. That all it make, can make it very complicated because there's a lot of involvement in that it's, I am here in it and it's happening all to me. So it's very important that I do the right thing or being busy with or look at myself or anything. There is already no one and everything is in appearance. So there's nothing happening. There can be thoughts, that's energy. There's no meaning. <sighs> that's the freedom. You don't have to have let go or things like that. It's already exactly how it's going. That's it. Whoa. Hmm. What is life? That's what me is asking in him or herself. What is life? I don't know. It's, I don't know. Life is everything. It's an appearance of everything. Feelings, sound, bodies, streets, smell, anything. But it's random, without a story, without time. That's the freedom, no meaning. It's just random, it's not having to survive. That's lost, there's no one. And I can be saying, it doesn't matter if there's me or not, but when there's that feeling, I am here and all that, then for that me, it matters because it feels like there's a frustration and maybe it's because of that's me and all and that. So in that, in that way, it can feel like it matters. You can't say to yourself, no, it doesn't matter. And then it feels like, ah, yeah, of course, then it matters for when there's that frustration and wanting something else and more things seems important or matter so it's not a new concept you that's nothing it's empty